What's going on, everybody? This is your brother RC. Come to get this the Ovo season two, episode one. A little girl talk, and y'all know, like I said, I don't know the title, but the show just came back last night, and you know, I'm not gonna talk about everything. We, we but we also know that Priscilla was fucking pissed off last night when she was mad about what happened with Sam and Victoria because she know his he was hard. And she want to see it. I said, Priscilla don't really care. She's not thinking straight, but I get why she's mad. Because Priscilla can't smell perfume on him. And she sniffed him again. And find out who perfume that he was wearing, that it was on him. You know, Victoria wear that strong, good stuff perfume. And that's why she's pissed. She wanted to kill her last night. And Sam was calming her down. Priscilla said, let me go. And Priscilla said, we'll talk about this when you get home. You know, pretty much she just want to confront him about what happened because Sam's not going to tell her in the White House until she, until they go home. I want to see what happened. They, excuse me, they reacted. They reacted to this and I can't wait to see what's going to happen because Priscilla is freaking heated. And she just done like she already knows that she thinks that Sam is cheating on her. We know he's too loyal. He tried to put his guard on last season, I think before the season finale. Um, he was trying to walk away, but Victoria just love, you know, young guys hitting on them and stuff. You know, she trying to hit on Max. Max wasn't having it. He was married. He wasn't going to betray his wife. He would do, she would do anything to get her hands dirty when it comes to men. Because Gail got that from, from her as well when she was trying to hit on Barry on the first episode of season one. And Barry was trying to walk away. He tried to put his guard up. Remember that time? He, cause, you know, her and Karen, I think those two was back together, kind of. But Barry, boy, that wasn't so smart, man, to catch Ruth. And you think Ruth is going to tell you everything? She only told you that the high is half your daughter, our daughter, and pretty much. But he not going to say your daughter, be our daughter, because you, you know, I think she, I'm going to say he ab she abandoned her, her daughter. And that's why her daughter wanted to get back with her dad because she haven't known anything about Ruth. And Ruth is trying to change. But pretty much, we seen when she, when Barry got arrested because he wouldn't keep his mouth shut. And Barry was trying to tell his side of the story. But Ruth wanted, you know, he wanted to hear Ruth's side of the story. We already knew. I'm not surprised that he got locked up again. I don't know who's going to get him out this time. I'm hoping they could interrogate him and wonder why you took her. And he gets asked because these police officer men is really useless. They don't even want to help to find his daughter. Not once. Because you know the high is on ruthless. They're good hiding stuff really well. And I gave them that. But it's going to catch up with them. And I know it's going to catch up with Ruth. Ruth don't even know that her twin uh, sister, Denise, was murdered. Her hair was chopped off. I did at the season finale. And that's what happened. Her hair was chopped up. She don't even know her sister was dead. Because you remember they never contact each other ever since then. Because you know one of them work at the petite. And one of them is the coat. So pretty much. Barry did meet um, Ruby's twin sister for the first season. And he apologized because he thought it was Ruth. But it wasn't. It was her twin sister Denise. Now she's dead. Then we find that Max is alive, which I called it that he was going to be alive. I'm not surprised that he was alive, which is good that he is, because I'm glad he stayed alive. But Uma was dead. She the one that wasn't wearing the vest. I knew that Max was wearing the vest, and I knew he was going to be fine. So he was okay. But, Den but Denise, no, Diane, Diane, my bad. Diane saying that she's going to take this whole operation down because she know they suck their dirty secret. And she know that Donald and them is covering it up about Max is having an affair with Uma. When we know that Max is not with Uma. They're just partners. And now she's dead. And then, you know, Diane was asking a good question. Why no security wasn't at the why wasn't by his room door? Because normally they did that on the half and the half now when they had security by um, Wyatt's door in case somebody trying to hurt him and stuff like that. Why didn't he do that with Max? And I'm glad that Diane called him out on it. He apologized and just turned the point to the room. She went and talked to him, and we know he was in a coma, but I'm sure he's going to be back on his feet 
soon as he finds that car is coming for him. Because we already know he's going to come for him. And Max is going to be ready. I think Carl's going to be in a rough of trouble this time. Because he got the best of Max last season. But this season, he won't. Which I don't think so. We see Lily and Bobby. They was in the, I think it was supposed to be the cabin. And she want to make sure she's safe. Because she knows that Carl is coming after her. He wants to kill um, Lily. And Donald was going to lie. Because he still cared about his wife. Might as well say... As white, but they separate because she don't want to be with somebody that's that was in love her back. Cause we now see Donald make love with her. We knew he had a thing for Carl because they used to be a couple before he got with a woman. You might as well say he's bi. I don't know, cause it's kind of different and awkward at the same time. Um, but I don't want to talk about the ending. But you know, you know, it's whatever, whatever. Cause Priscilla was talking to Diane because Priscilla didn't want to talk to Diane here because she said. She wanted her to come to the house so they could discuss because Diane know everything. Everything. She's a smart woman. Because now, you know she was trying to get that new um, woman fired. But she's up to something too. Her and her partner's up to something. And I don't know what it is, but I'm willing to find out. And I can't wait either. Because her and Hunter are going to be in the room talking in his office. They tell you, you know, they, were, they was lying. They know that Max is alive. She know that Max is alive because she... Also watched the news and pretty much she knew they alive. They, they they knew that he's alive and they lied. And Hunter did say, "If I go down, you I'm taking you are with me," because he they know that Master's gonna talk and that's why Carl gonna try to go after him and keep him quiet, kill him this time. But Master's not gonna lie this time. I'm hoping he has somebody with him. Hopefully he has some guards, cause we know Carl. I'm hoping that Max will get killed off this season because I thought the first season he would be dead, but thank God he's not. But I'm praying that Max don't get killed and Carl does. I don't know what Hunter thinking that Carl was going to have his back. And poor Jean guy, um, with Jay, with, before I get to Jason and the grandmother, I forgot her name. We know that Lauren and... No, no, I damn my wife keeps saying. You know that Gail, um... Talk to her grandmother, you could tell she was talking so much shit, she was just over it. Like, she really wanted to leave that White House, and she feel like she's in prison, and she wanted to be free. And I know she's going to find a way to be free, because she tried to be free before. That's why she snuck last season when she was in Jean's trunk. She got out. She went to go see her gangster boyfriend, but now she's, he was murdered by Carl, killed all the men, and we found out that Nancy... That was Nancy's son, by the way. Nancy sat with someone while he was out. And yeah, man, Richard was pissed. He just wanted Nancy to answer the question. Tell me who it is you slept with and who's the father of the baby. Because she's not going to tell him because she don't want to lose him. Even he do, even she do tell him. But I feel like you need to tell me anyway because he's going to find out eventually. No matter how many times she keeps staying, he's going to keep making her life and living hell. And that's where he going. He going to tell her to get your ass out of my house. He, he didn't say that. But he was pissed. Because he found out that he been sleeping, she been sleeping behind his back. While he was in war, in the battle. And he can't forgive her until she come clean. Because I don't think she will. She feel like she going to lose him. That's why she don't want to tell him. We got Karen and, um... Freaking Kareem. Kareem was really obsessed with her and so jealous because her and Barry got back together. I feel like her and Barry need to be separate. They need to take a break from each other because Barry's still looking for his daughter. Now he's locked up. Uh, they don't know he went to jail again. And I know Kareem going to be happy because she think that... The, the, the thing is, he even asked her an interesting question. Are you pregnant? Because... He been seeing her go to the restroom a lot and made that is possible. If the baby is Kareem, what Barry gonna do? Because Barry already got a daughter that's missing. That the compound, you know what I'm saying? That's his priority. He just wants his daughter back. Cause we already know when he told the police officer that he had for custody. It's like he don't want to hear him out. That's crazy. You know, it's really ridiculous. But, you know... Karen decided to take the pregnancy test and took it one. Cause you know she had nothing to say to Kareem. She's done with the drama. She just wanted things back to normal. She said you need to hire somebody else. Cause she thought that she was gonna quit, but she said, No, I'm not gonna quit. You just need to hire someone, cause it's only two of them. 
And she, he's, she's right. I feel like she need to be transplanted, in my opinion. Because he ain't going to stop talking to her. He ain't going to stay away. He wouldn't be with this woman. When you know that she was taken. Because it's really his. You know she should not put her guard down. How does he keep her guard up? Because is he fine? We don't know if the baby's going to be buried. Because we didn't. I don't know if she had sex with Barry. Even they made love. We know that she had sex with Kareem once, I think. Was it once or twice? We'll find out if she's pregnant or not. I missed some of the judge's video, but I'm sure you're going to talk about it. But anyway, guys. Oh, one more thing before I go. This is a part that threw me out. Jason. Jason. Besley told his grandmother that he killed Jean. He said it should have been you, not her. Because he didn't want to kill her. He liked Jean. He said Jean was sweet, beautiful, and pretty. And he said he put her under her bed and said she don't want to believe him. And he told her to turn the plane around because I need to go back. And he told her last season that I need to get back to my room because he didn't know where to put the body. People was going to see. He that's why he hit the body under his bed. He could have put it in the closet. So, um, we'll see what happened next Tuesday. I can't wait because I know it's going to be a a bit bonfire. I can't fucking wait. I'm here for it. But yeah, I know Jeremy's gonna co you know talk about the um the trailer, what's gonna happen um on the oval. I can't wait. What's gonna happen on Sister tonight? That we know Zach went to jail again, the second time he went to jail, and it's gonna be insane because pretty much. She gonna be going in on Zach, how he messed up again when he was doing okay. But we not talking about sister. But like I said, Jason meant what he did to Jean, and he wished he should have killed her, his grandmother, not Jean. Said it should have been her under the bed. Cause I don't think he didn't like her either. Just like um, Gail, Gail wanted to get away from her. She said you're a creep. You're a creep. You're so creepy and all that. Call her names and everything. And we know Jason gonna try to kill his grandmother and pull that on window because he told that he kills all. And I think he's trying to do that. We'll see what happens. I just can't wait. Make sure you wait, comment, subscribe, pre-tell notifications, share this video, and I'll see you on the next one.